Hey guys and girls, I'm Ellie and today we're watching Red vs. Blue Season 3 Episodes 43 and 44. Um, last time the, the teleportation and being separated arc kind of came to a close. They met up a lot sooner than I expected. Um, I thought they maybe like could be separated for quite like more time. Maybe make a whole season with just like different teams, but they didn't. They met up on Sidewinder, and um, well, the rest of the team still doesn't know that Church and Griff are there, and Church and Griff don't know that anyone else than that new character Wyoming is there. Wyoming, on the other hand, is an old colleague of Tex, and well. Also, like, kind of uh, there to kill Tucker. So, that's a thing, too. Anything else? Yeah, we have Evil Mastermind there with his evil laugh and Doc just being in the background and not being happy with things, you know? Uh, but, yeah, there was kind of like a standoff or... I don't know, in the end. So I guess we will just jump right in and see what happens. And if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or you can support me here while subscribing or you can do it on Patreon where you can get Rick and Morty episodes early or uncut and Neon Genesis Evangelion to watch. Um, other than that, there is also a link to the Discord server where you can join. Yeah, I think I said everything. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I had to record that little intro for this episode again. Um, because sound settings were off. Uh, so I kind of like I, I saw the first five seconds of this episode. But yeah, um, let's just start with it, with episode 43 in 3, 2, 1, and go. <clears throat> yeah, evil law. Fools have fallen right into my hands. Only now do you realize the folly of your follies. Mm, sure. <laughs> Prepare for an oblivion, for which there is no preparation. Mm -hmm. O'Malley, the reds and blues are working together now. You wow. can't hope to beat us. You fool! My metallic friend is the only ally I need. Lopez, activate weather control routine. Weather control? Okay. Um, wow. Are those runic symbols the sign of some ancient technology? No, I used to draw them on my binder during study hall. I always wanted to use them for something. Aren't they cool? Sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> I found our secret weapon. I developed a weather control device, and I was missing one critical piece of technology to make it work. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And now what? that I've located those D batteries, the universe will be mine. <laughs> Are you sure. Serious? You couldn't find D batteries. Only at gas stations, and they're just so darn expensive there. What's going on? Mm. You want the long version or the short? Basically, you've got a 50 megaton bomb in your gut, Ten, sir. and Lopez is about to kill us all. That didn't make any sense. What's the long version? That well, was the long version. The short version is, we're boned. Hey, Griff, are you okay? okay. I've done hard times, Simmons. I'm not the man you used to know. Hard time? Really? We were only separated for five hours. Time moves slower on the inside, Simmons. Five hours? Like seven or eight hours to me. That is, well, that targeting system. Ha! Oblivion is at hand! Sarge, I have an idea, but I need you to distract him. Will do. Griff, I've never believed in you. Not even for a moment. Mm-hmm. Now is your chance to prove yourself. To me, okay. what I do, Sarge? I need you to run right at O'Malley. And shank him with my shin? No. When no, just distract him. Try to see if you can get your dismembered limbs and guns to clog the barrels of his rocket launcher. You're kidding. It's a remote chance, I know. But it's worth a shot. 
Um, really? Cover your ears, guys. This thing is really loud. This is it. Not so fast, O'Malley. Mm hmm. Maybe we can't stop you, but I know who can. All right, Ooh. new level, yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, guys, you want your flag? <laughs> wow. The one that has it. The crusade has begun. Our hour of glory is now at hand. Let all who would stand against us be washed in our divine light. Yeah. Okay. Hey, they have found people who aren't afraid to die. We need to disarm Church's bomb, Sarge. Right. Yeah. What is that music? Hold still, son. This will just take a second. Don't you ever install anything above the waist? Oh, no. That's Probably not. Use the detonator. There's no way to turn this thing off. Can you do it manually? Impossible. I specifically designed it so um. I wouldn't be able to defuse it. Why? In case I fell into the wrong hands and was brainwashed to help the blues. Sure. Nice sir. You had to get just one last ass kiss in before we died, didn't you? Um. Wow. There's only one thing I can do. Hey, what the hell? There's only 20 seconds left. If I blow you up before the bomb goes off, there's at least a small chance the rest of us will live. But the rocket will kill me. 10 seconds. I mean, there's like the still stuff that can explode in like five seconds. Sorry, Church. Man, this blows. You guys suck. What the hell? Um. but I always get my mind. Wow. Uh, guys, um, interrupt, things are happening. What is happening? Uh -oh. What? Oh, son of a... Where are they? Where are we? Are we There's dead? a clock. I don't want to what? be dead. I want to be alive. More clocks. Or a cowboy. Dead? Are they traveling like through time? Oh no! Heads up, boys! Prepare for impact! No. What happened? Hey, he's awake! I still want to know why I don't get a laser gun. Shut up, dumbass. Guys, Tucker's awake! Huh? Hey, 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 take it easy. That dude. looks different. A while. And I thought I was lazy. They look different. Who are you people? She has amnesia. Tucker, don't worry. You are safe. We're the Reds. We are your mortal enemies. Wait, that didn't sound right. Tucker. Yeah. Tucker, I am so glad you are alive. Hi, Caboose. Still so dumb, but you look so different. Did they We're change the like into another they game? Are very like shiny here. The future. Oh, I can't fucking wait to hear this one. Obviously, Lopez's weather matrix combined with the power of Bomb 21 to create an explosion so large it caused a temporal rift in time that cascaded throughout the board. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Sure. I don't understand. Sarge, can we do the skit now? Yeah! Yes! I don't want to do that dumb skit. Fine. But only what? because what I skit? want to see Griff be miserable. I miss the old days. Great! Places, everyone! <clears throat> Um, Red vs. Blue players present a Franklin Donut play, written and directed by Franklin Donut, in association mm -hmm. with Mike Red Danish production. Can we just start? Wow, okay. Um, a play. And action! Hello, weary traveler. We represent the timeline. I am the past, where things cost less, and people knew the value of a hard day's work. But they only lived to be 28 years old. And I am the future. Where people have no morals and no emotions, but we have a bunch of kick-ass gadgets. And I'm the present, which sucks. We have nothing cool and also no morals. Hmm. And I am the helpful narrator, a faceless voice used by poor writers. You have a face. Okay. Think, Shut up, audience. <laughs> You're ruining my play. Everything was fine with the timeline until one day in the present. Why does bad stuff always happen in the present? Because that's when people do stuff. That's uh, that's true. Vision. I have atrocities and a crap load of wars that seemed very important at the time, but now seem trivial and stupid. Yeah, and I've got Apocalypse. That's way worse than anything you two dipshits mm. have. Sorry, sir. That dipshit was in character. Oh. Well, bravo, sir. Okay. One day in the present, a terrible thing happened. Enter stage left. Hello, I am stupid 
Private Tucker. I'm going to set off a big bomb now and totally mess things up for everyone. Okay. Because I am stupid. Turns around. Hello, present. I'm going to set off a bomb in you. Don't do that, stupid Private Tucker. That might kill me. Thinks about this. And Tucker is watching for all this. Kaboom, stop reading your stage direction. You told me I was supposed to read anything with my name in front of it. Just the lines, not the blocking. You're ruining my big debut. I do oh, not no. think we are missing artistically. <laughs> I think you should talk to my agent. This is stupid. I can't yeah, that this doesn't work. You can't quit. End scene. This has been a Franklin Donut joint. Listen, son, you and your buddy Church set off a bomb, which when combined with the weather machinery in Lopez, made an explosion so large it destroyed the present. Destroyed the present? Destroyed the then present? Where are we? We're in the future, numbnuts. Aren't we in the present right now? Aren't we always in the present? Right. Unbelievable. He can't cope with the loss. He's in denial. That is so sad. I son, was Tucker there. The present has been destroyed. It no longer exists. We are in the future. But when you're in the future, you're now in the present, so what is destroyed is the past. I hear he's very interested. You're telling me a bomb sent us into the future. Yeah, you see, luckily Church was facing forward when the bomb went off, and we were standing in front of him, so that sent us forward into the future. Of course he was facing forward. What other way can people face? You see, that's what I meant by luckily. Hmm. What happened to Church? Hmm. hmm. Never really thought about him. Right. Yeah, weird. I, I guess he's dead. Sounds good to me. Let's go with that. He could be hurt. I mean, Church was dead That's either way. Son. The present doesn't exist anymore. What you're proposing just isn't very good science. Don't you see? If Church was facing forward during the explosion, and that blew us into the future, that could mean that he was blown backward into the... Oh, no. Backwards into what? The wall? A broom closet? The past? A big rock? Another big rock. No. Into the past. Right. What the? What the hell? Where the hell am I? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, get church out of there. So, next episode. They destroyed it all, Simmons. Those damn Mm -hmm. They blew it all up! Damn them! Damn them to hell! Those damn dirty apes! Calm down, Griff. We don't know that the whole world is like this. Yes, it is. They destroyed it all. I guess a society of men just wasn't meant to survive. Hey, how about this? Okay. How about we explore more than two square miles before we jump to any conclusion? It was definitely nuclear weapons. That's what It's did so it. weird it to look at them like this. Power outages, which caused the failsafe to fail, which will lead to super bacteria from a secret lab. Oh, come on. That caused a huge Plague. And as the victims died, they rose from the dead 12 hours later to roam the earth and feast on human flesh. What? A handful sure. of witty survivors from all walks of life were able to keep <clears> the <throat> legions of the infected radioactive undead at bay, using only their wits and an inexplicable comprehension of agricultural science and engineering. Everything was looking good. And that's when the meteor hit. I think you just quoted every crappy Hollywood apocalypse movie ever. Nah. Hollywood doesn't understand apocalypse. They think that just one thing from everyday life goes away, and that changes everything. Like in Road Warrior, it was gas, and in Waterworld, it was land. What went away in the Matrix? Sunlight. I thought the missing element was plot. I'm talking about Matrix 1. Oh, right. Okay. Thanks, Simmons. The age of man is done. <laughs> if all that happened, then where are the zombies? Why aren't they still around? The meteor killed them. And what about the super bacteria? It was infected by alien bacteria brought by the meteor. It was wiped out in a massive bacteria on bacteria plague. Very ironic. Okay. Then why okay. have we been infected by the new alien bacteria? It only infects other bacteria. Are you even listening to me? Do you guys ever get anything done? Or do you just stand around and talk all day? We don't get paid enough to do stuff. Yeah, Griffin Simmons idiots? were talking how from the very beginning. The past to the future? I guess he can just wait. That's how it usually works. But when he gets to the present, he'll just be destroyed like everything else. Well, he'll just have to fix it on his own then. And if he's successful, he'll get to live through the coolest apocalypse of all time. Simmons, sure. Get your keisters over here. Look what I found. I found it. Hmm. Look at what I took credit for finding. Amazing that these that two works, actually Caboose. accomplished something. It looks like some kind of an alien transport mechanism that could be used to... Or it's a jeep. You have no yes, imagination. Yes, it's a jeep. Mm, 
Let me see if I can get this thing working. How? There's no parts. Now what are you going to use for fuel? Griff is right, Simmons. You don't have any imagination. Thank you, sir. Shut up, scumbag. We're not having a moment. Hey, wow. we need to find Church. He's dead, son. Why haven't you given up hope yet and just moved on? It's only been a couple of hours. Well, this should make you feel better. When his body blasted into smithereens, at least he took all our enemies with him. Danger! No swimming. Get me low. Sure. Error. Error. Get Hi. me low. Error. Error. No Is that just your head? <laughs> Don't worry, my metallic friend. You will be up and about in no time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. You're gonna resurrect him or whatever. Build him together. Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. Ahem. So. That's what we're doing. Right. So. Yeah, those were episodes 43 and 44. Um, wow. Uh, what, what happened? Uh, they were blasted into the future. And I'm with Tucker there. If you're in the future, that future is now your present. So when the present from before was destroyed, that is your past that has been destroyed. Um, and for Church, it would be in a way that the past is his present and the present that has been destroyed is his future. Right? Right? Timelines? I don't know. Time travel is always a very difficult topic. Um, I mean, I'm writing stories, but I tend to stay away from time travel because I know that's just way too complicated to do right. Um, I'm, I'm very curious how they will deal with all that in the future. Mm -hmm. In the future. <laughs> they already are in the future. You know. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Somehow, we have to get Church back to the group. Um, and like, Tex and this, this Wyoming guy we had for like a few episodes, not more. Um, I don't know where they are. Sheila! Like, Sheila was in the present. I want Sheila back. She was nice. So yeah, um, at least Lopez is still kind of there. Seems to be only a head now though. But our body sharing O'Malley and Doc are still alive. They are on a beach. Even though like wasn't wasn't like Doc's body beaten to a bloody pulp by those capture the flag guys? So why is he still alive? I mean I'm I'm grateful. Doc was a very interesting character and just having him and O'Malley together in a body is just <laughs> it it's fun to watch. Um but still, like, explanations, please. <laughs> um, anyways, we will hopefully find out what is gonna happen to Church next time, because Church is in the past and it looks weird. Also, like, so I guess that that is how they jumped into, like, a new game. Uh, I don't know, like, it, I never played Halo, I have no idea, but I guess that's, like, a sequel game. They jumped in now, um, which is fine, but it's gonna take me some while to get like to get used to this, um, because I got used to them looking like they looked before, and now they look different. I mean, they still have the colors and the 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 voices, so I still recognize who they are, but yeah, it's 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 weird, and I'm I'm gonna have to. 
get used to that first. But yeah, um, I don't think I have anything else to say. Just, like I said, curious to, to know how Church will get out of his problem there. And uh, what happened to all the others we haven't seen. Like Sheila and Tex, you know, those, those two. Um, yeah, on this note, have a nice day and I see you in the next video. Bye!